He's not the monster people picture him to be. Have you not believed in what you see in your eyes? They tell you what it is and now you are surprised. Thursday morning was the last time he called me. What did he say? He said, Mom, son to mother, I'm trying to be the best person I can be. In an ominous phone call Thursday morning, hours before the robbery at El Ranchito that would end his life, 30-year-old Eric Eugene Washington promised his mother, Corrine Goodman, he would do better. What he did, I don't condone. I don't. He knew better. He never said anything or made me think he would go this route. He started working, he was striving, because he said, Mom, when you send someone to penitentiary, it breaks you. In 2015, records show Eric was convicted of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and sentenced to 15 years in prison in connection to the shooting death of the business owner, 62-year-old Hamid Warich. He was there. He did not kill their father, but he was there and their father got killed. And that I am sorry for. I never got to say that to them, but I'm sorry for that. Eric served seven years and was released on parole. In December, he was charged with assaulting his common law wife. Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and so much more as we go down a rabbit hole. Well, you know, keep in mind, folks, this is the home for the intelligent dissection of social media. So again, I understand that I am not for everyone, but that's what this channel is based on. A little bit of common sense, of course, but also utilizing our critical thinking skills. So as you've already heard uh, from the mom, you know, in this situation, that's who I feel for the most. You know, it's never good for anyone to lose their life, obviously. But when we put ourselves in situations, we really cannot be surprised. In a moment, we're about to hear from Brother Quanell X. He has an interesting perspective. Um, on the one hand, you know, he does admit that, you know, this was necessary. Right. And then on the other hand, he feels that the guy who shot him should be indicted, which is quite interesting. But, you know, sometimes I think people are just ready to go. You know, when I watch a lot of these police videos and people just take it to the next level, just doing the absolute most for no reason, I think people are ready to check out. As you've heard, his mom talked about, you know, he's been, you know, out and uh, was trying to do better and all that good stuff. But it would prove contrary to what he was said. You know, this is a person who in 2015 was involved in a shooting. Well, a robbery with deadly weapon, got charged, sent up for 15 years, got out in seven, and then beat his wife. Well, assaulted his wife. Not to say that we don't learn from our mistakes, but it doesn't appear he was on the same path. So it's like this had to go down this way, unfortunately. That's why, again, I feel sorry for the family because you're dealing with the person who obviously has been institutionalized by your own doing right you put yourself in this situation and he was involved they say he did not actually take the life of the other guy in that robbery back in 2015 but he was there at the time so who knows what other type of stuff he could have been going into or getting into so you know life has a way of bringing things back around so it's a cautionary tale for those who are listening. As much as we want to hope and wish that people do better, sometimes, you know, this is the end result of their actions. And then again, you have to go back and figure out, well, what in the world happened in his childhood that brought him to this place to where, you know, you were robbing somebody in the first place. I do not condone stealing. So we have a lot of people out here who are sympathizing with folks who think it's okay to steal and take what's not yours. The fact that he had a fake gun, that's unfortunate for him in this case because he could not retaliate. And, and again, that would have been wild too because you're robbing the place and now you have a 
bang out with somebody else's arm. Now, let's get to the guy who unalived them. Now, I most certainly think this was a situation of overkill. Um, clearly, you know, one um, pop to stop the situation would have been good. But you can obviously see that the man who did do this has um, uh, dis disdain, shall we say, for melanated people. So this was his opportunity to take advantage of that. Now, as much as I am against the level he took it to, but again, what can you say? You know, indicted for what? Right? So it was definitely, you know, going to be deemed a self-defense as it was, right? But at the same time, what's the charge going to be? Like you over like is there a limit as to how many times you can pop somebody? There's not. It was very nasty what he did. Clearly, you know, he felt some type of way. And he did that, but can you be indicted? Obviously not, because he wasn't. And I don't feel that this is going to be a situation where people who are not stealing are going to have to be in fear. However, if you get in, your, get in a situation where something is happening and you happen to be stealing and there's somebody there that is armed and dangerous, then, OK, yeah, you're going to have people taking matters into their own hands. Not the best situation either, but in fairness, if you're not doing something you're not supposed to do, you don't have to worry about these type of situations because, yes, there are definitely people out there who do not like you and what you look like and are more than happy to eliminate you. All right. So let's get into this video. We're about to hear from Brother Quino X and get more details on this story. Let's go. A customer shot and killed a robber at a taco shop in Southwest Houston two weeks ago. Many people at the time called that customer a hero. Now we're hearing another side of that story as some local activists call for that customer to face charges. ABC 13's Derek Lewis joins us live on this Sunday with what he's learned tonight. Derek? Yeah, Tom, when we first covered this story, it was hard to find anyone who believed the shooter should have been charged. In fact, police have also decided not to charge him. But today, activists say when you listen to the number of gunshots in their surveillance video, they say it's overkill and that the shooter should not be able to get away with that. Eight gunshots, then the shooter gets closer. And a ninth. That's excessive, come on, that's excessive. That's ridiculous. Activist Quanell X believes the shooter went too far inside Ranchito Number no. 4 back on January 5th. That night, Eric Washington walked into the restaurant with a mask, gloves, and a plastic pistol to rob customers. He takes money and wallets from people they're eating. One customer then shoots Washington as he's leaving, and he dies on the scene. The man was not wrong for the initial shots. He was wrong for the continual shooting when the man was, when the man was dead, in my opinion and no longer posing a threat. Quanell X says Washington's family is hurting after seeing this video. The shooter has a lawyer and turned himself in days later. A grand jury will decide whether the shooting was justified. His lawyer tells ABC 13 he's confident the grand jury will justify it. And that worries Quanell X. This is going to open the door in Harris County for some wild, wild stuff. Wild, wild where? And then what people are going to say is, you didn't indict him. How can you indict me in Houston? I'm Derek Lewis, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right. So, yeah, let's let's examine that, because, again, if you're not committing crimes, then it's not going to turn into the wild, wild west. It would appear that you're already in the wild, wild west. Right. If you got uh, people coming into a um, we'll just be specific. You got a guy coming into the taqueria eating your tacos getting your margarita on minding your business next thing you know you're being held up getting your pockets ran through and you're terrified all you went to do was just get something to eat so how is that opening up the wild wild west because somebody could possibly pop you okay because you came in there with an ulterior motive outside of some tacos so it's just it's just sad all the way around. It's sad that we have people that have to 
you know, steal or feel that they have to steal. But, you know, unfortunately, these are the things that can happen. So any young people listening to this or any people you got young folks in your family, let them know there is a price to be paid for everything. And this type of behavior is just unacceptable. This is the world we live in, especially in Texas. OK, so, you know, they definitely strapped down there. So better walk careful. All right. Till next time. Like, share, subscribe. Peace and blessings. Who was real with me in time I came to see? Who was there for me? They say, hold up, wait up, fuck for what? Fuck for what? Only back it down, they never show up. No, when you need them, only around if you can feed them. Yep. Show you no love. No. When you blow up, pull up, pull up. Wanna ride around?